you mentioned working both on the side of the leader and the side of the challenger. What are the good points and bad points about both of those things? The leader's role should be not to compete with the challenger, but should be to break and, and to move the industry forward. And I think in the case of Kodak, um, I was there right at the turn of the digital age when it first started. And, and I remember there was a campaign that we were going to run for Y2K, the year 2000. And the head of marketing wanted to put a digital ad on the front page of every uh, circular and every advertising that we did. And he got beaten out by the sales guys who wanted to run color negative film, 200 mm -hmm. speed color negative film. We went with that. And, you know, obviously Kodak today is where it is. So I actually learned an important lesson about the leader, not just looking at the competitor, but really looking to where the industry is going and how mm -hmm. to get there quicker. So it was a great experience I had learning from that at Kodak. And then in the case of the challenger, I've worked for two challengers that behave pretty differently. So Adidas is a great challenger uh, to Nike, but depending on where they are in the world, they are the leader in certain things. And I think that a challenger like Pepsi does, I think a challenger should look to the leader and, and should challenge them quite hard on multitudes of things. But I also think that they should look to innovate themselves. And so sometimes the challenger where they sit can become the leader by innovating.